What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a panoramic slideshow out of any image that you have in Photoshop. So all you need is a photo in Photoshop and we'll be on our way. But before we get into it today, let's have a moment of silence uh, for the green and gold. Okay, so let's hop into Photoshop. Today I have this image that I shot this past summer. It's a 35 millimeter uh, film scan uh, that I shot of my kids and my dad out on the farm, checking some hay to see if it's ready to, to get bailed. All the Wisconsin things here in Wisconsin. So what we want to do, basically, we want to decide before we even get into anything here is how many slides we want our Instagram slideshow to be. We want it to be two slides, three slides, four slides, etc. because that's going to kind of define how we set this up. So what we're going to do is go over here and we want the crop tool. The crop tool has a, a, a settings dialog box up here that you can set a ratio. There's predefined ratios, but you can set your own. So this goes back to, okay, if we want a four slide slideshow, my advice would be to do a four to one ratio. So and I'll show you what this would look like. It'd be kind of like this. But for this particular image, I think a three to one ratio works. And the way the reason why I say that is because when you're setting these slideshows up or these panoramic shots for Instagram up, you're going to want each frame to have something interesting in it because if you don't, what's the point of someone sliding to the next slide? So that's very important too. I think your, your leftmost part of the image needs to have something interesting or something guiding the eye uh, through your composition. So for this image, I think a three to one crop is going to be best. And what's that? What's that? Basically, the output it's going to give me is three square images when I'm done with this. That's kind of my rule of thumb. I like to do a three to one. And then for the fourth image of my slideshow is just the full panoramic, uh, basically with white borders on the side or on the top and bottom. Make sure you kind of crop this how you want. I think I kind of want everything in the photo like that. So we kind of get the vista in the background and I'm gonna hit enter to basically apply that crop. So now that we have this crop, you're like, what the heck do I do with this? So within the same tool, if you hold the drop down here, there's this thing called a slice tool. A lot of people don't use this. I'm a web designer by day, so I use this a lot. This is basically how we slice images up for web or at least how we used to. We still kind of do it that way. The magic with this tool, if you've never used it before, it does a very important task that uh, I think is very underutilized but has a lot of uses. And specifically for our Instagram slideshow, it's very useful. If we right-click anywhere on this image, we have this thing that is called Divide Slice. And what this allows us to do is divide our slice. Basically, if there's no slice there, it's going to slice your image evenly into uh, even pieces so we can do it horizontally or vertically as you can see um, I've already had this set up to, to three but if you had a four to one crop you would do four you can see there's four individual uh, slices there but I like to do this as a three because we did a three to one ratio hit okay and now we have basically our predefined slices now what do we do from here you would think maybe we crop these out and save them out uh, individually but there's an old tool once again uh, I'm aging myself with this web design talk but if you hit command option shift s it brings up the Save for Web dialog box. I'm going to exit out of that because the other way to get to it is going to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. So you're going to want to bring that up. Uh, if you have never used this, it's going to be in a view like this where it's showing you the original. You can tab through um, the different, basically, viewing options. I always like to do a two-up, and then I zoom all the way out by hitting Command-0, just like on uh, as you would in the regular Photoshop document. And then here, you can basically click through and save these individually. But also, if you just shift click them all, it'll grab them all, and then you can save uh, whatever quality you want. You can want PNG, uh, it's probably gonna be the best quality, or you can do JPEG. If you're not worried about space and you want the best quality for Instagram, I would recommend PNG. Make sure they're all selected, hit save. It'll bring up the save dialog box then. You're gonna want to put this somewhere, so I'm gonna put it in a folder just called demo. And then it doesn't matter what these are named, uh, just make make sense of it, I guess. So this is just the dated file, I think, uh, that I got back from the lab. I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sick. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. And then from here, uh, I'm actually going to bring out my phone because what I need to do, let's go to the desktop. Let's go into those files. There's those images. And what I need to do, 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 do bring my phone up here. I'm going to hit command N to open a new window. Command shift R to bring up the the magic of <laughs> dropping files of AirDrop, and hopefully it recognizes my phone. I don't think it is. Maybe it's because I'm on my work VPN. Shh, don't tell him. I'm working through my lunch break, as you can see. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, while we're waiting for that, uh, obviously this photo is one of my own photos. If you want to see more, you can hit me up on Instagram at Second Crop Creative. Uh, and if you like what we're learning here today, um, uh, follow along, subscribe, like, all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff that the kids are doing. All right, so what I do here typically, because I'm on a Mac, I can airdrop these. I just select these files, throw them to my iPhone. It's going to take a minute to transfer, and then i got to figure out how I can screen record here. Okay, and we're going to do this on my public profile, so bear with me. We're on the phone now, so we're going to want to go to Instagram. This is my personal account. So what we're doing here is we need to organize them. So it, you have to obviously make sense here. It's like putting a puzzle together, right? We're going to click that one, click the second one, and click the third one, and hit next. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shiver me timbers. Let's hop back into the computer for a second because what I forgot to do is once we have our slices, the fourth slide, you want that fourth payoff uh, slide of um, basically the whole panoramic by itself. So what I need to do once I have the slices done, I've completely skipped this step. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Go to image uh, canvas size and we can see that our width is 3000 by 3088 by 1030. Just match this. Because we performed that crop earlier, I think, oh, it might have kept our pixels. Let's see if it did. It didn't. So there you go. That would be another square image, uh, just adding the white border to the top and bottom. But I'm going to back up because I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. Let's pull up the crop tool because some of you might have this thing right here not selected. Delete crop pixels. So if you hadn't had that selected, if I crop this, let's say I did all my slices Divide slice, three to one. Okay, now let's say I've got them exported and I wanted to add that white border. So here's the here's the problem or here's the, the jam that you'd get in. If you go to canvas size and make this a square image again, you can see that we don't have our, uh, our white borders there. But because we made our slices, that actually could help you because what we could do now is just grab the marquee tool and go down to where our slices are at and it should snap and then do the bottom one too by holding shift and clicking. And then we can just add a new solid white color. And then same thing, command option shift S or go file, export, save for web, zoom out. Um, son of a bitch, I keep screwing up. So we need to get rid of these slices. If you just shift click them, shift option, sorry, command shift, click them, you can delete them. Otherwise, you know what? <laughs> There's an easier way, go to view, just clear the slices. Be done with it. Clear the slices. Now we don't have slices. Now, so now we can save for web. Command, option, shift, S. Brings up the save for web again. I'm going to just save this as a JPEG, medium quality. Put it back here in these image folders. Now i got to transfer this beast over. Now we're going to hop on the phone and do a screen recording. Sorry for that minor inconvenience. All right, we're going to go into Instagram. Open this bad boy up. Create a new post. Obviously, the last image is going to be the first image there. So what you want to do is go back and put this puzzle piece back together. So you go one, two, three. And then you ignore that because that was my screen recording video. And then the fourth one here. So if you hit next, now you should be able to see these. And oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. Don't you know there then, rep in Wisconsin. So hit next, create your post, and be on your merry way. I hope. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That took longer than I thought it would. But basically, all you do is you take your image into Photoshop. Uh, basically create the crop, the aspect ratio that you want. Usually I like to do that three to one. You get three images and then you can have that payoff slide at the end for your four image slideshow. Create your slices. That slice tool, I'm telling you, it's underutilized, but it's perfect for any kind of panorama uh, stuff that you want to do for Instagram. And then you basically save those for web, create your master uh, one at the end there, and boom goes the dynamite. You're on your way. I hope... <laughs> This wasn't too convoluted and it made sense. I'm sorry it took so long. I'll try to maybe edit this together uh, more conveniently. Uh, but if you like what you see, give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And we will see you next time. Keep creating, keep shooting. And how do you like the new office? It's been a few years <laughs> since I hopped on one of these, but I'm, I'm planning, I'm fixing to get back to things here. So take care. Peace out. I really should be monitoring my levels better.